Hey everybody, what we're going to do is talk about uh, different types of solutions, uh, being the three different types being saturated, unsaturated, and supersaturated. Okay? They all stem from sort of the point of equilibrium being um, saturated, and saturated is when um, for a certain amount of solvent, like water, uh, at a certain temperature, it is dissolved as much solute, as much chemical as it can, okay? and it cannot dissolve anymore. So what we're going to do is talk about sort of the three different things we've done in our lab um, and then explore our fourth one. Okay, so first thing we did is that in our first test tube we added uh, five milliliters of water. Okay, and that was all the water that we're going to add for our lab. And then what we did is we added, um, we added 0.5 grams of sodium acetate to it. And when we did that, it dissolved. Okay, so what I'm wondering at this point so okay so here's our sodium acetate it's a little white chemical and so it all dissolved in here so in test tube number one I'm wondering is this solution saturated okay so what we need to do to check that is that we add another 0.5 grams of sodium acetate so we do that and we shake it up and guess what all dissolved so again all of our chemical dissolved uh, we don't see anything in there and so okay so what information does that tell us well, if in test tube, in the second step, in the second step, if all the chemical dissolved in here, that must mean that the first solution was unsaturated because we were able to dissolve more, okay? So then we said, okay, um, so we've added 0.5 grams and then another 0.5 grams, and then so then we added 14 grams, okay? And, uh, and we shook that up, we shook it for three minutes, okay? And we can kind of tell from the test tube is that you know, the chemical got all spread out and everything like that. And uh, then we let it settle, and what we notice it forms some layers. So what, you're, what you would want to do then to, to figure out, okay, so you're thinking hopefully that the water on top there, that solution, that solution is saturated. Okay, so what we do in that, in that case is we could pour off that water and, uh, excuse me, pour off that solution into a smaller test tube add a crystal to it and if that crystal does not dissolve then that solution was saturated and that's exactly what happened okay so we pour the solution back in and then we're going to heat it up we know that uh, increasing the temperature for a lot of solids for most solids will increase the amount of chemical that can that can dissolve so we've heated it up and then what we're going to do is we cooled it back down very slowly. Okay, so we took basically what we have in test tube number three. We heated this up. We got all that solid that's in the neck of the test tube. We got all that to dissolve. Um, and then we put it in a cold water bath and we let it cool down. All right, so for time reasons, I've already done that for us. And I've got this uh, particular test tube here. All right, so now we're in kind of test tube number four, and let's see if I can kind of zoom in on it and get a little picture of what's going to happen here. So what we've done is that all all the uh, equipment, pardon me, all of the solid that's in that test tube number three, we've got all that all that uh, dissolved in there. So we basically by heating it up and cooling it back down, we we're able to trick that solution into dissolving more than it should be able to. Now, this is a very unstable situation, and so what we're going to do is kind of test that theory. So, on what I'm, the theory I'm testing is that that it, that we made a supersaturated solution at this point. So they are very unstable. So even adding just one little small crystal to it should make all this extra solute that we didn't able that we weren't able to get dissolved here have it come out of solution. And sure enough, even just adding one little crystal, okay, caused all that extra solid to come out of solution. Okay. Something that's kind of interesting about this is that as we feel it, test tube, test tube is getting very hot. You're going to have to trust me on this one. It's getting very, very hot. Um, something I forgot to mention is that it actually got cold when we did this step. So when we added the 14 grams, um, it got cold, and now it's getting hot. 
so this is the same idea in uh, in heat packs you see in the store, especially in the winter time. Um, you have that little metal disc that's in the uh, in the packet in the heat pack. You bend that disc, and that's all it takes to have all that extra chemical come out of solution. It's actually the same chemical as a sodium acetate solution. Okay. Um, so at this point, some people think we formed a solid. We did not. Um, so if we were to take a, a rubber policeman or something like that and kind of move this around, this would be kind of a slush. Okay. Um, because we still have.